Cash Money Dream Podcast, man. We in the building and we ain't going nowhere, man. Listen, man. I, I listen. I came into the city and um, I, I keep telling them I hate talking about this, but sometimes you have to speak on things that is very important when it comes to the entertainment, especially men in power like us, who who try to get to the top of the mountain. But sometimes you have em- enemies or servants and peasants. Um, I think we're gonna get into. The conversation, I mean, and it goes into talking about Diddy. Yeah. So another um, another accuser has come out uh, for Diddy. It's this time. It's this producer who allegedly uh, Little Rod says he accused him of uh, illicit behavior and certain type of assault. So. Basically, what the article says here, producer Rodney Little Rod Jones filed a bombshell lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs, accusing the embattled media mogul of sexually harassing and threatening him over more than a year, uh, as well as securing footage of Diddy and several of his associates involved in illicit behavior and... Allegedly. Essay. So when it rains, it pours. How do we feel about this? It seems like every month or every couple of weeks we got we got something new coming out on Diddy. It's a new accuser. A lot of people are saying it's because these NDAs are expiring. But if something's illegal, an NDA doesn't matter, to my knowledge. We'll start with Drizzt. Uh, how do you how do you feel about this Diddy situation? Because you haven't been on the previous topics. So what do you think? You think there's truth to this stuff, or you think it's just people that want money? So um, I think a lot of times, and I know I've, I've, I'm not going to fall into a lot of people's opinions for this, but I think a lot of times, um, you know, when it comes to black men in America, I think that, you know, people try to tear that down. And I don't, you know, necessarily say that these people are lying or these people are, you know, just doing this for clout, for money, whatever it might be, right? Whatever the reason might be for doing this. I'm not saying that it's always going to be a negative thing, but I do say that we can find a pattern within people, you know, when, when you know, we, we've seen it happen with a lot of people, right? We saw it happen with plenty of different, you know, artists in the past. <clears throat> so to say the least, I can't say that it's not true, but I can say that it's very questionable. It's very questionable because these people have a lot of motivation to, you know, come out and do these things. So we have to, you know, make sure that we take account for that as well. I mean, so far, Cassie's the only one that actually got anything out of it. She started all. She got paid quick. What do we, uh, we'll we'll move over to Cash. What do you feel like? You think this is still, uh. Just a bunch of BS until something is proven. I don't. I, I listen. Allegedly, show us evidence. Right. I don't understand. Like, how do I say this? And allegedly, I think we all look up to Diddy. <laughs> we look up to, I mean, Johnny Depp. We look up to entertainment. Bruce Willis, Denzel. Right. Some people have demons in their closets. Right. But look, I'm not here to judge Diddy until you prove. So until these bitches, excuse my language, right. stop taking money, because how do you stop a fucking predator? Right? How you stop a predator? You're going after the money. So fuck everybody else. So I don't give a fuck what these females think. Why do I care? If you're taking money, you're not saving the next victim. Yep. It just proves who you really are. You are greedy, you stupid, lying, predictable. Gremlin. Right. So if a if a chick go out and say, you know what? I don't give a care if a hundred babies get molested. I'm going to take the money and just go away. That's the problem with this country. That's the problem with the West. And this is where women are going to. I've seen panels on YouTube where they, they, they trick a female by asking this question. Would you rather see a man go to jail or would you rather take a check and they paid you a million dollars? 90% of the women say they'll take the check. Bruh. What the fuck's wrong with you bitches? Right. I think there's some truth to that, though, because Cassie's situation, maybe or maybe not, it's allegedly that at all what she said happened, but her main motivation was he owed her money and he didn't want to pay her. So she did the last resort that was needed to get it, and it happened overnight. Your so problem. her reason was really for that. Your problem. But now everybody's saying Your that- Your problem. Uh, 
This Listen. is this is what I talk this is what I'm talking about though. Like in reality, there's so much motivation behind this that it's hard to say, well, there might be a different ulterior motive, you know, to this situation. I think a lot of people don't like to analyze that part. Like put yourself in his shoes and put yourself in his position if you could, right? If you could possibly open your mind enough to open up to that type of, you know, thought process. Like you have to understand when you have so much power, when you have so much money, Diddy is is one of the most influential black men of America, right? right? And in general, throughout the world, you know, we see him be a mogul, idol, whatever you want to call him, right? And these people, they have they have reason, they have motivation, you know, to come behind him. And and yeah, you know, even with the Cassie situation, um, it's all about the exactly money. So even with the Cassie, I don't situation, care what anybody say. If somebody, if I had a daughter, and somebody touched my daughter, right, sexually, or they, whatever the word is, you know what I'm going to say, okay? Because I'm not going to get you stupid cancel on YouTube. But if they did something to my daughter. And I had a choice to get a billion dollars or to see this person go to prison. Fuck the money. I would never. Well, what about everybody else's daughter? So until you guys prove that this, this person is guilty. Right. Stop taking the fucking money. So you think the producer, he owes right. him something, right? Everybody's old. Everybody's old. This is the So he's mad about the contract. Listen, man. This is the rap game. This is the music industry. This is fucking Hollywood. Why are they just coming out? It ain't about coming out. Hollywood is protected. I mean, this same thing happened to Weinstein, right? One woman said it, and then the whole world Everybody said it. Else. And well, now he's in jail. This is what happens when you're... Listen, it's not even by opportunity, because there's real victims. Maybe they get more confident. Hold on. We're not going to excuse victims. Because there are real victims in this situation exactly. that happened. So Cash ain't going to do this shit. Up and smoke, cash money dreams. Motherf Allegedly. Podcast, motherfuckers. Anyway, <laughs> we ain't going to do that shit. I'm going to tell you the victims are real. Right. Most of them. But the problem is, is stop taking the fucking money. If you're a victim, don't take a check. Yep. Save the next victim. Yep. Y'all women... Don't even go to the motherfucking WNBA game, but show up to every motherfucking nigga basketball game. Gotcha, bitch. And think... You deserve a $100 million contract. Fill up your stadium, and then maybe you can get $5 million a year. But see, the problem is we live in a society where women have been liberated. I'm going to say it again. I'm fucking up. Shit. Hold on. Women have been liberated. Right? Y'all ask for this. Venomous. You fucking cinnamons. Goddamn grimmings. Bruh. Girl trips. Going you around. Stupid. Catching bodies and not giving a fuck. Destroying the culture and the idea of, of what we are. And women don't want to accept this, right? You got 20 bodies, you 21. That's crazy. You fucking more men than your grandma. Your grandma's probably right now at five, seven bodies. Five, seven bodies. That's all your grandma ever touched in her life. And you already at 21. And you ain't even 25 yet. So when they keep attacking Diddy, this is all about money. This is all about, man, yeah, this nigga got parties. Y'all showing up, though. All these people. Well, everybody should be arrested then. Usher, Meek Mills. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who's been to his parties, then they all, then they all, they all guilty, right? Another one. That's what we saying. We saying DJ Cali guilty. Huh. We saying Drake guilty. We saying motherfucker, all these. Who, who else has been to a Diddy party, right, I mean? And the whole world. But the, the point is, this guy's got proof. Show it. I mean, when is he going to show it? So once he shows it, we'll get back to this. He says he's got footage proof. Obviously, if something illegal is being done, it's illegal. You can't do that. I'm going to say again. But if it's just because you want money, then that's a problem, all, too. Right. All this is is money, man. And listen, it's no disrespect to the victims. But this is money. If, if you're a true victim, I, to me, I don't know if you agree or disagree with me. I do. I do. I really do. Why, why go for the money? Expose that's the person the and make this point, person though. get locked up so you can save the rest Millions of, of people, exactly. right? And the rest of the people who might be affected it, by It's this, funny to me how person. people are in this country, man. How everybody's Driven trying to get money. rich. Y'all greedy, man. What money. he's saying, just to close out here, what he's saying is, the guy says, Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his freak-off parties and his house parties. So I think he's trying to imply I believe that's it. why these people keep their mouths shut 
because if they say something, he's going to release the footage of them doing whatever the I fuck they it. did that they don't want people it, to see. It comes back to... So that could be why, Real too. quick, before we get off this subject, because this, this, we're going into the next segment. Um, it goes back into... Um, do I say Weinstein or what's his name? The one who had the list? Nice. The producer. Oh, you're talking about Epstein. 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 These motherfuckers. They call name. him Epstein. So it, it this equivalent to that he list. He had a lot of parties too. Listen, this equivalent to that list, right? We ain't saying Diddy that. He don't got motherfucking islands and slips. <laughs> no, we ain't saying Diddy. I don't know. Maybe I'll check into that. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I mean, but what we are saying is it goes into that list. If this is true that he has footage. Then I mean they're gonna do everything they can to get that, and see if it's true. I mean, right. but at the end of the day, man, listen. Until you guys start showing evidence, right? Message to the people: Wait till you see evidence to cancel whoever the fuck you're trying to cancel. Look what, I mean, I'm gonna, and we're gonna move on. Look what they did to John Majors. Okay, period. I didn't even want to bring him up. So, so stop taking money and show your fucking evidence. Stop being bought out. Gotcha. That's it. Hey guys, what's good? It's your boy Cash, Cash Money Dream Podcast. Thank you for watching. Make sure you guys click over here to subscribe and to watch more, click over here. And to keep this production going, because we're doing a lot of crazy work, make sure you guys on the bottom of the video do super thanks. We appreciate it. It's your boy Cash, Cash Money Dreams. We out of here.